On April 26th, a group of armed former Seleka rebels entered the MSF hospital in Bogila in northern Central African Republic and carried out a brutal attack that left 16 people dead. The team had organized a meeting with local community elders in order to discuss some medical activities but also to discuss uh, the security conditions in the region which had deteriorated. Whilst that was taking place, uh, an armed group entered into our compound uh, and, um, and with the purpose of robbing MSF, uh, taking our money and taking our resources. Um, and uh, whilst that robbery was in place, something went horribly wrong and uh, hence as a result the robbers, uh, they killed and murdered 16 people, uh, primarily a community, uh, community elders, uh, but also three of our own national staff. MSF pays tribute to its three staff members. Deeply affected by the attack, the team at Bugila Hospital suspended its activities immediately. In protest, and to underline the need for humanitarian work, the 2,300 people employed by MSF in Central African Republic are reducing their activities to emergency medical care only for a week. The events in Bugila reflect the insecurity rife throughout the country. In Bongi, 1,300 Muslims who had taken refuge in the north of the capital left in a convoy under African Union escort on April 27th. The Christians come and throw grenades. It's not safe for us here. That's why we want to leave. They're headed north of the country where they hope to be able to live in peace. But the very next day, anti-Balaka fighters tossed a grenade into one of the trucks, killing two people.